It is no secret what God can do. Oh, he could sing it much better than that. The writer and singer of that well-known gospel song was Stuart Hamlin. Hamlin was a country music Hollywood star who was known as a drinker and a brawler. Billy Graham met Stuart Hamlin just prior to his Billy Graham's 1949 Los Angeles Crusade, and he invited Hamlin to the crusade. Stuart Hamlin attended the Graham Crusade, and there he experienced a conversion to Christ. Hamlin began to tell of his conversion to Christ on radio programs and in the newspapers. And not long after Hamlin's conversion, he met movie star John Wayne on a street in Los Angeles. Wayne asked Hamlin, What's this I hear about you, Stuart? Hamlin replied, Well, Duke, it's no secret what God can do. Sounds like a song to me, said John. Stuart went home, sat down at his piano, and wrote the song. It is no secret what God can do, what he's done for others, he'll do for you. Let me quickly share three promises of God that are certainly not a secret. It is no secret what God can do. First, it is no secret that God loves and cares for everyone. Men, women, boys and girls, he cares for everyone. That old children's chorus we used to sing went like this. Red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Then there's John 3.16 that drives that thought home. That great verse called the gospel in a nutshell. For God so loved the world, men, women, young people. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It is no secret that God loves everyone. Secondly, it is no secret that God will never forsake one of his own. Oh, what a blessed thought. God, the Lord God, will never forsake one of his own. Many years ago in a facility for uh, physically and mentally limited children, a caregiver remarked that one of the youngsters uh, had no family that ever came to visit him. To my question about the family, the caregiver replied, the authorities told us that the family abandoned the little boy under a bridge near Fort Worth and they never returned for him. To be sure, parents have abandoned their children, but God never will. Listen to his promise, the promise of God. I will never leave you nor forsake you. God has promised his own, Hebrews 13 and 5. And then the third thought, it is no secret that God has prepared an eternal home. God has prepared an eternal home for his own. Listen to his blessed promise. For we know that if our earthly house, this tent, this physical body is destroyed. We have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. What a blessed promise. He will never abandon us. He loves every one of us, and he's prepared an eternal home for each of us. Listen to this promise of Jesus not long before leaving his disciples some 2,000 years ago. He said, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Oh, what a blessed promise. Now, these three promises of God are no longer a secret. I hope you believe them. I hope you've trusted Jesus as your Savior. If you trusted him, I rejoice with you. God bless you. If not, I pray that you will. I pray that you receive him even now. A loving God, he wants you in heaven. He wants you in heaven with him for eternity. God bless you.
as you make that decision. And if you already know Christ Jesus, I rejoice with you. If not, bow your head. Turn to the Lord. Confess your sins. Repent of your sins. And receive Christ Jesus as your Savior. Live for Him. Go to a good church this coming Lord's Day and tell the preacher that you've given your heart and your life to Christ. God bless you. I hope you'll live for Him. If I don't see you this side of heaven, I'll see you there. God bless you and keep